the video on the beanbag kind of day. Buenos dias, buenas tardes, buenas noches, whatever time of day it might be right now. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're doing really well. Hope things are going good. Hope the sun is shining where you are. Hope life is sweet. Every time I catch sight of myself today, all I can think about is Miss Honey and I've accidentally dressed as Miss Honey at the end of Matilda where they're having a picnic in the garden after she's adopted Matilda. Thinking about it literally makes my heart happy. I think that's probably one of the films that makes me like feel the warmest inside. One of my absolute lifetime faves. You can probably tell what's happening today. The dungarees are on. I'm sweating just thinking about it. <laughs> to be honest, I'm actually kicking off this video way later than planned. It's actually like mid-afternoon now. Um, I don't normally really like to do that. I like to start my videos at the beginning of the day and kind of, you know, follow through this journey of 12 hours. But I opened my to-do list today and was just faced with an absolute smorgasbord of horrible work tasks. I'm gonna be honest, I've had too much coffee today. I can feel myself like slightly vibrating. Um, so I'm sorry if <laughs> if that's coming across through the lens right now. Um, I, I am, I do have another one in my hands. <laughs> I will quickly just mention as well, I filmed yesterday, but that was for a video which features a brand partnership. So that will come after this one. Um, so I've kind of done this in the wrong order. In that video, I've explained that I'm on a brand new camera. So I don't want to bore you with it too much, but just to let you know, I'm on a brand new vlogging camera today. Um, I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing yet. I haven't read the instructions yet, but I think it does behave like slightly different to how my old camera did. So if things seem a little all over the place, that's why I will get to grips with it as soon as I can. <laughs> Just been like really busy. It feels like a proper shock to the system, like having places to go again. And it qu feels quite overwhelming having stuff in our calendar again. And anyone who is particularly into football or has a partner who is into football or friends that are into football will probably relate to what I mean when I say that like the return of having a social life has also coincided with a big football tournament, the Euros. So Adam is literally seeing people and making plans like every single day, some of which I'm tagging along to to like see our pals. Um, so it's just like a triple quadruple whammy every week of social plans and it just feels a little crazy. But tonight we're actually sitting it out. We're staying at home together tonight. You'll see Adam later. He's in the office at the moment, but you'll see him later. We're gonna be hanging out together tonight because there is an online event with Disney Plus this evening, which I'm so excited about. It's been a really long time since there's been any kind of like events or anything really for my work. Um, and there's a really, really exciting one tonight with Disney Plus for the launch of their new movie, Luca. Um, they've sent over the most amazing looking selection of ingredients and stuff. I'm gonna do a live cook along and then we get to watch an early screening of the movie afterwards and yeah you uh, dangle posh ingredients and a pasta recipe in front of Adam Bull and he comes running home so um, that'll be really fun for us to do together later now that my work is all done I am hopping back on the DIY train chew bloody chew so basically if you've missed the rest in a nutshell I'm doing a bit of a DIY renovation to our staircase slash very tiny hallway. Hallway makes it sound so grand, like a Beauty and the Beast entrance. It's literally like a set of 13 steps. So I think last time I left you, I had started the paint removal process, I'm pretty sure. If you've kind of missed the run up to this, I've been documenting the whole thing um, because I totally have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> In fact, that's an over an overestimate of my knowledge. So if you've missed all that, you can go back and see me removing the carpet and talking through the process and stuff. Um, I'm pretty sure last time I saw you, I'd started the paint removal. I think I was still wide-eyed and optimistic and having a lovely time, actually. How times change. <laughs> On this particular task at hand, my number one piece of wisdom, my little pearl of wisdom to be found in the oyster um, is, to put it succinctly, do not do this. I have not had a good time doing this at all. I was so naive 
starting this job uh, it's actually laughable. It's truly laughable. I really thought going into this, like, how hard can it be? All I've got to do is rip up the carpet, wipe the paint off, sand it, varnish it, hey presto. Being very frank and honest, like, it's a nightmare of a job. And if I'd known uh, how time consuming and difficult it was going to be, I think I would have sacked it off, honestly. But now I'm in too deep, I'm falling to the bottom of the well, I can barely see the light at the top, and now I'm desperately fumbling around for some kind of rope ladder. <laughs> if anyone could shine a torch down, that would be great, and by that I mean please help me <laughs> fix these stairs. So let's be a bit more positive about this. Let's kind of get, let's get some motivation here. Let's get stuck in. The good news is that all the paint is off. And that is kind of where I'm up to, to be honest. Um, it took several rounds of p the particular paint remover that I was using to get the paint off the stairs. Um, and it was incredibly messy and the stuff that I was using oh my god it was like obviously it's like a chemical paste of delights and obviously I was masked up hair back gloves on blah -de blah but if I even got like a pinprick of the stuff on like any exposed skin I'm not joking it like blistered and burned my skin it was just a really really horrible experience <laughs> having said that it's done a pretty good job the paint is 99% off the stairs. Anyway, we're back on it today. I am now at the point where I can't give up. I have to finish this job. I must warn you that when I show you <laughs> what they're currently looking like, um, I mean, it looks like I've ruined the house. <laughs> but I'm fully aware of that and I feel semi-confident that it has to look worse before it looks better. Um... <laughs> yep. Yeah. This is, oh God. So this is the quarter that is the most well up to scratch right now. And this is the, qu the quarter that I've been working on. As you can see, all the paint is removed. If you're wondering what this is, <laughs> it's a bit of a long story. So the gray stuff is not paint. The paint is all gone. It's now residue from the removal paste that's left and residue from, you then, once you've removed all the paste, a few times like I've washed the stairs probably like four times literally like on my hands and knees scrubbed it the residue that's left is then from a neutralizer that you have to spray on top of where you've used the remover I mean I'm not a scientist I had to reset my biology test many times but I do know that it's all something to do with acids and alkalis and before you can then kind of go in with a varnish or whatever you've got to neutralize the surface again like these little splashes and stuff a residue which comes off this is the neutralizer which comes off so these are the stairs that i've kind of scrubbed and really worked at um and that is how we're looking i'll bring you up a little bit i would say this top step is looking pretty good it's a little frustrating because you can kind of see the line where the paint was but i think that is literally just where the paint has discolored the wood this wood's been exposed so it's more bleached or discolored or whatever but then obviously once i've laid the carpet this line will actually be covered by the runner the runner is slightly wider i think anyone who's kind of done anything like this really will relate when i say you really start out with the intention of it being absolute perfection and like you won't settle for anything less than 100 percent perfection but then when it is actually <laughs> just you doing all of the labor um your standards <laughs> your standards change as you go along and what you realize is actually achievable so like this one here the wood grain is still really nice once it's varnished it'll be a lot more even tone kind of thing um this all looks really nice and then this step i've also worked really hard on as well so you can kind of see the natural wood grain coming back out again it's quite like uneven but once it's varnished or stained or whatever i decide to do to it um that'll even it out nicely and then the runner will come up to about here i think so that is the kind of like reality check of how well this is going uh i'd give it maybe a four out of ten right now you know what though i do still feel confident that it's gonna look really nice at the end the progress that 
it improves by every time I dedicate some time to it um, is really encouraging. It's just so time consuming. I did not think it was gonna take me as long as it is. We're not in a rush and I'm trying not to like let the fact that I'm sharing this online <laughs> stress me out or rush me or anything. Like I'm just picking it up when I can around work. Oh, by the way, we've also painted the walls up here. You might notice that Magnolia is gone. That is all down to Adam's amazing handyman of a dad. I think it probably needs another coat at some point, but even just having the white instead of the grubby magnolia has made an enormous difference. And I think you can, I mean, if you use your imagination, you can kind of see. The highly exciting development for all of this though, is that I, I treated myself to something, <laughs> something real special. It's a, uh, It's the real deal. I thought I'd do my lungs a favour, so I can't really speak to you while I'm... I mean, what even is this? <laughs> I literally sound like I'm underwater. I'm now yelling at you. This is too ridiculous for words, so I'm just going to get on with it. to turn the camera back on just to inform you how incredibly filthy I currently am. I don't know if you'll be able to see like the fine layer of dust that is covering my entire being from head to toe right now. So obviously this is a pretty enclosed space. I kind of thought the dust would remain all trapped under here, but look at my footprints. The whole downstairs is literally thick with dust right now. Look at my phone. That is what everything is like right now. I had to turn the camera off because I didn't want it to get too dusty basically, but I'm making good progress. To be honest, I've done most of the treads. The treads are looking really, really good. Um, the risers, which are this like vertical bit here, are the really tricky bit. Um, so I've kind of shot myself in the foot here and done the easy part, which is the flat bit straight across. Trying to stay positive, trying to stay hydrated. Never again. I put this dust mat down like underneath where I was working to try and stop my mucky feet getting all through the house, but I feel like I'm fighting a losing battle slightly. <laughs> Look at this floor. Holy guacamole. This dust is no joke. Another time we could have been like strangers turning as we passed along the street. Hello, I'm wearing a different t-shirt because I'm just popping in from a day later than I filmed the rest of this. Um, I am utterly filthy <laughs> from head to toe. But I just had to turn the camera on and document this magical moment <laughs> because I finished the sanding. Uh -huh. Oh yeah. And I finished at a reasonably good place yesterday, but I woke up this morning and I was like, I can't do this anymore. I have to finish this sanding today. <laughs> that determination unfortunately coincided with the fact that it is the hottest day of the year today. We've hit 30 degrees in London today. Uh, I can confirm that's not the weather that you wanna be doing this. Uh, yeah, I've literally never felt so disgusting in my whole existence, but it was worth it. It's done. Oh my God, that was a horrible job, but I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> Past the debris of 10,000 sanding pads and microfiber cloths and a small beach worth of dust here's how we're looking i can't believe it every single well as much as physically possible every single scrap of paint is now off these stairs and i could literally mark some kind of national holiday in tribute to that fact. I've basically been sanding for coming up to about six seven hours today um to get them to this finished point but I can't believe it. Hopefully you'll be able to see, I've literally got every scrap off here. So when this is nice and sharply painted, it'll be a lovely contrast between the two. I then went over and fine sanded them as well to make them really super duper smooth. Um, 
and they're looking good. They're looking really good. They're definitely not perfect, but they are enough for me to do what I wanted to do with them. And I actually think they're gonna look really, really nice now. Still got this discoloration between the sides and the middle, but that's okay, because we're gonna have a carpet there anyway. I think it's all gonna even out a lot nicer when I varnish or stain them. Um, I need to start having a little look at colors for that and stuff. The small matter that I now have to deal with is the aftermath. I'm so tired, but I can't wait to get all this cleaned up. Okay, time to go from filthy urchin to presentable human being. <laughs> time for a Cinderella makeover in three, Two, one. I think I'm just about clean. I shampooed my hair three times during that shower because I could just feel the dust like matted in it and I couldn't get that like nice clean feeling. And I was just about to put some lipstick on, but these are actually three new lipsticks, which I haven't tried yet. So I thought it would be a fun time to try them together. Um, I picked up some of the new Glossier Ultra Lip, which is meant to be like their ultimate lipstick formulation. It's meant to be like the perfect lipstick, lip balm, lip gloss monster hybrid trio. First one is Lucite, which looks quite nice actually. It's a very kind of pretty soft baby pink. Um, let's give it a try. Mm, the colour's pretty, but I would need to exfoliate my lips before I wore that. It's that kind of baby pink that picks up any texture that you've got on your lips. It feels nice though. I've got high hopes, but if I'm going to wear this one, I will have to make sure to exfoliate my lips first. And that's slightly high maintenance for my liking. I'm sorry if I feel like the lens is a little dusty right now. I'm sorry if it is. Are you okay in there? I also got this one portrait. Oh that looks like it's gonna be quite bright actually. This might be a little too pink for my liking. Ooh it's like a watermelony kind of colour. I really like that. It's got, I mean it's quite bright for me. I never really wear bright lipstick anymore. I used to wear this kind of like corally pinky colour when I was younger like all the time. I do like that but just for the sake of research in the name of science let's try the last one. So the last one I picked up is Villa which I think is going to be my favourite. This looks super wearable. Can you see it? Can you see it? Old school beauty video moment. Uh, so this is Villa. Okay yeah we have a winner. That's banging. I really, really like that. Let me show you in the light. It's really shiny. That's so pretty. I'm gonna leave that on, I think. That is an absolute winner. If you're interested in these, I'll link them down below. I think I've got a Glossier affiliate thing for 10% off. I'll have a look and see if I can find it. Hello. That was a loud little chirp. You come to say hello. How you doing? Oh, you smell like outside. She's got this new little spot in the front garden, which is like in the middle of the bush and she keeps going to sleep in there. It must be nice and cool in there, I think, because it's been so hot recently. And she just lives in this little like hole in the bush now. She's like a feral bush baby. I bought you so many lovely expensive beds and you choose a hole in the bush. You're a little wild child. I know. We're gonna go make some pasta now. Yum, yum, yum. After all that work, earned a very special dinner this evening. I am so excited about this. So this amazing box turned up on the doorstep earlier. Um, we are going to be doing a live cook along with Disney Plus tonight to celebrate the launch of their new movie, Luca. So here is the cute little graphic. Enjoy a taste of Porto Rosso. And I guess that's the characters. I'm so excited to see the movie. We've got, um, we've got a little early screening later. So really looking forward to that. But first, we're gonna cook something delicious. Adam, do you wanna come and see what's in the box? Yeah. I know you're gonna be very excited by this enormous bottle of olive oil. Oh. So Disney Plus have teamed up with Lena Stores for this. If you haven't heard of Lena Stores, they are an amazing, it's like a deli and a restaurant. It's like a couple, it's like a little chain in London, isn't it? We've bought little like delicious bits and bobs from the deli. Oh, Adam's here. Hi everyone. Fresh pasta yeah. arrives, Adam comes running. Oh uh, we've bought little like delicious bits and bobs from their deli loads of times and we've been to the restaurant once. Just once. I think. I think maybe we went for an anniversary or something. It's quite hard to get a, mm. get a table there. You've got to get there at like five. Because they yeah, don't take we bookings went really early. or don't get, didn't get a booking. Yeah. So it turned up super early and it was absolutely bad. It was unreal. And we made, we remade the pasta we had there. It was one of those meals that you'd like have to recreate at home afterwards because it's it was just so good. I roped in my resident chef to help me out. Uh, so we're gonna be doing like a live cook along with the Lena chefs on screen. We've set up my laptop. 
Over here. Oh, <laughs> what the hell? That's sick. He's a happy boy. Yeah, that looks really fancy. <laughs> Make a wish. We have got focaccia. Focaccia? Don't even know her. Oh, let's just dive in and see what we've got. So this is a little ingredient list. This looks like it might be the focaccia. Can I have a look? Ah, uh, yeah, I can have a look at that. Oh, is it rosemary? Yeah. Rosemary and sea salt focaccia. That smells so good. Focaccia? Oh <laughs> Are we going to say that every time we say the word you focaccia? You have to. <laughs> I hardly know her. Can wow, I, that looks amazing. Can I eat a bit now? I don't know. I feel like we should wait until we're told to get started. Well, I just I'll slice Two a different bit types of people. The, the I'll try it. Maybe I'll, try a little. They won't know. Whoa. Parmigiano. Artichoke hearts. This looks like... What, what's this going to be? Oh, I think there's some like salsa stuff in here. We've got some olives. This looks like pesto. <gasps> Fresh pasta! To add to our repertoire of aprons. This is almost mm. Lucy. So I have to wear this one. That's nice. Yeah. Right, let's get cooking. That's not what it's for. It's for making your pasta. How do you stamp it like that, man? Oh, maybe actually. You probably put it on there, then you go. Yeah, and then it'll be like a little dish shape. Anyway, we should probably stop predicting and just log into the class and find out how to do it. Today we're gonna do this recipe together that it's uh, called Forzetti. It's with our Z. And it's a typical pasta from Genova where you need to use this little stem. Too much. Sauces. In addition, I would say with the seasonal ingredient, depends also on the quality of the ingredients. You create great ingredients. Oh, you do this better. Yes. Yeah, you put the technique. Look at that. And then, you use a little stamp and put the little picture on. Okay, got it. Hey! Wow, that looks amazing. This is going to be probably uh, Anna. Oh my god, it's so good. <laughs> I mean, I ate bacon loads of it, so... That is so delicious. Here we go. Action stations. This smells unreal. Yum! So from this... to this... Ta-da! So here is our... Do we know what this is actually called? Oh, here we go. Cosetti al pesto genovese. Is that good? Uh, I'm not one to judge. It was good to try and say Italian words. It was enthusiastic, so that'll do. Fresh pasta, potatoes, green beans, pesto, parmesan, olives, we've got artichoke hearts, focaccia, which I've perfectly brushed with olive oil, if I do say so myself. And then we've got these little spreads as well. What actually are these? One's called homemade salsa di gnocchi? Nochi well, and name. salsa di porcini. So we've just finished watching Luca and it was really really good it's out on disney plus this friday before i forget to tell you it's out on disney plus on friday the 18th of june i loved it it was great really, it really was good. good i was thinking while we were watching it in in the rankings of like the fairly new disney pixar movies that we've watched so like soul hmm. onward we haven't seen Raya and the last dragon yet so i don't know about that one probably put so mm, i might have even liked it more than soul what do you think I did love Soul. Adam's half watching the football while I'm doing No, this. I'm just trying to I'm just trying to think. <laughs> this film had the biggest laugh. It was really funny. With I can't know what the character's name was. Uncle Ugo. I'm oh, sorry, of course. <laughs> That's the character you need to watch out for because we were both laughing out loud. Steals the show. And it's, Hilarious. It's 30 seconds on camera. Yeah, that was a real highlight. It was a very, very funny film. Very just like silly and lovely and i only cried like one tear <laughs> for, for a disney pixar film that's like really feel good very fun really cool animation as always very beautiful to watch it was great it's good i'd give it a solid eight out of ten okay what would you give it i thought you were gonna go nine i might even go 8.5 <laughs> well if you put i would put frozen 2 at like 10. what frozen 2 was amazing you got a, you lost interest. You didn't watch it properly. Frozen Two like tops the charts because it's like the most visually beautiful animation I've ever seen. Oh, and also, the dinner that we had was the exact pasta dish that they kept making in the film. The pesto pasta that he was making. Oh yeah, different type of pasta. So that they was, didn't have. The oh yeah, they stamp. had different type of pasta. But the dish that he was serving was what we had for dinner, so that was really cool. Nothing okay. else. Nothing else for me. All right, I think we're done for today. Thank you so much for watching. I'm absolutely exhausted. A triple carb dinner and a Disney movie 
and a full day of working on the stairs, yeah. I I think the word is wiped. Oh. 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 <laughs> That's a good show. A supermodel. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Hope you're doing well. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you very soon with another video. Family shots. Bye.